All right, when you first get your machine, these are our new PC versions. So what you're gonna do is right here, you're plugging the machine in the back. Right here, there's a little power switch. This is your master switch. This is gonna give the whole unit uh, power. You can see your audio dial here, which you can turn for volume. There's, there's a subwoofer uh, input, uh, control right here as well. And on the bottom, there's actually a headphone jack. So to turn your machine on, like to get the, the arcade fired up, you go ahead and just push this little power button right there. That's gonna fire your machine up. And you just wait a second. Give it a second for it to boot. All right, once you boot it up here, it's gonna to boot to this menu. You can use your player one joystick to go ahead and select the system that you want. What I would suggest when you first get your machine is push your player one start button. It's gonna bring up your main menu here. Go ahead and push, scroll down here to controller and Bluetooth settings, push your player one B button. Now, uh, if you go up, uh, Plug in your, your light guns right here in the front. Plug these guys in. I'm just gonna show you how to calibrate them really fast. You see when they're plugged in, you're gonna get a white border here. You can take your gun, aim it at the screen. You can see your, your uh, icon might be a little jumpy. If you hold the D-pad on your gun while aiming it at the screen from about five feet away, Hold it down, your, your screen is gonna be funky. You can see there then the, the target is gonna to snap to the center, aim and fire. And now your target is perfect. You can do that for player one and for player two. After you've calibrated those, you can turn this white border off uh, in the menus or leave it on. If you wanna turn it off and have it only appear in gun games, you press your start button you go here to Bluetooth and uh, settings, send in guns, and you just turn the border mode to in-game only. I'm gonna leave it on, on auto here. So your basic commands are uh, to sc scroll here, your systems. If you wanna pick, let's say you wanna play a Sega game, you press your player one B button, that's gonna bring you in here to the menu. So now here you can pick the game you'd like. So if you wanted to play uh, Andre Agassi Tennis, push player 1B, you're going to get a save state manager. This will be blank unless you have a save state. Go ahead and push B, it's going to launch the game. <clears throat> you have to wait for them to boot up, and then your select, start. Each of the systems are slightly different. Uh, you'll figure out which, which buttons in this case this is your B to play. Pick your players and you can play. So to exit out of the system, you're gonna hold your player at one select and then tap start, just like that. And it'll exit you out. Now, if you're in this one, you wanna go back, you push player one A. That'll take you back to the main one here. So now you'll notice there's a few uh, unscraped We've tried to scrape them all. We're still working on it. You can do this yourself. When you plug it in at home, you can go ahead and put it on Wi-Fi. If you press player one start, you go down here to network settings, player one B, and you go down here to your Wi-Fi ID. You can plug that in. Um, I only turned it off there. Uh, you can plug that in your home Wi-Fi and password, uh, and then that'll get you on Wi-Fi. That will also notify you when there are system updates and you can do them automatically. So when you're on Wi-Fi, you go in here, you push your player one B button. If there's one game that is unscraped and sometimes they, the, the system can't find them because they're like a European game or whatever, but you just press your player one B button, you'll get a menu under the right here, you go to scrape. 
push B, it's going to go out, it's going to find the game. You can see that it did find it. So this shows the name of or the, the image of the, the cartridge. It's going to give you a video and everything it needs. You push B, it's going to download those and you won't have to do that again. Now it's going to show up in your system. And uh, anyway, player one A. So if you wanted to save your games, let's go to like a, a Super Nintendo game. If you wanted to play uh, Adam's Family, for instance, A, let it load. Now your save feature is select and X. Sorry, that's your load. Select and Y is your save state. Select and Y, and you can see it saved state one. If you keep pressing it, it's gonna toggle up. If you wanna change that, you hold this, select, and arrow up and down, and you can see your save slot will change. And then you can load from there. So if you wanted to load save slot two, select an X, and it would load from save slot two. Now, you'll notice when I exit out of the game, If I go to play the Adams Family again, you can see it's got my save states. And from here, you can delete them, copy it to a free slot, do, launch it, do whatever you want. So those are the basic functions of the machine. Um, if you do have any questions, just go ahead and reach out to us. The PC system is new. Uh, it's very awesome. We are continuing to add things and uh and dial things in so if you ever do have any issues let us know so that we can go ahead and fix it for not only you but for everybody that's it so to sh let me tell you to properly shut down your machine uh, you can go ahead and just push this power button it'll put it in a sleep state or what i would recommend is you push your player one start button go down here to quit b and you're going to go ahead and shut down system b again really shut down yes let it fire all the way down your system's going to tell you goodbye if you have a pixel cade when that goes away you'll know that everything is shut down and you can then go ahead and power it off entirely this switch will will turn off your audio amplifier it'll power down the pixel cade and it'll also uh, officially power down your screen uh, anyway that's it enjoy